Everyone's Sound Idea. And today, I will show you three instances that shows the importance of language use. But before that, let me call Hannah. Hey, Hannah, are you ready? Never been more ready. Oh, hey, you're here already. I am Hannah, Sam Stream. Since you are here, I'll show you the first instance. On a bright and sunny day, Sam had to answer messages. I don't think okay sure less than three is an appropriate response. I thought being formal would sound too dry. Maybe I went a little overboard there. Will my internship end here? <laughs> being friendly doesn't always equate to dropping formalities. The instance is a good reminder that we should use appropriate formality in different situations. We should keep in mind of our relationship with the recipient in order to avoid misunderstandings. Jumping on to the second instance, Sam is seen talking with a software developer. So here's the thing. My ex wants to give me cookies. Why can't I hear her? Huh? The internet is slow. Can you message me instead? Oh, okay, sure. I'll message it. Three days later. Oh, Sam's calling. Hey, why are you- It's all your fault. I fell for him again. And we broke up again. <laughs> what? What has that to do with me? You told me to accept his cookies. It was delicious, so I agreed to be with him again. Now, he broke up with me. He played with me. <laughs> I didn't know you were talking about the cookies that your ex baked. Cookies, they are delicious. Sometimes it contains chocolate chips or sometimes data. This instance shows the importance of jargon words. Cookies in the dictionary of Sam's friend are data from a website, while for Sam, cookies are delicious. Both were talking about different things, which made their whole conversation pointless. Highlighting the importance of taking into account the background of the recipient. If Sam noticed that there was something off with her friend's response, she would have cleared that the cookies she was referring to were baked goods, not the ones containing data. On to the last instance, Sam seems to be having a good nap. Let me check my phone. Oh, I have messages. Let's get back to work. Weird. Why would she do 40 I mean, what for? Sam turned out to be winking master and her co-worker was bewildered by her response. Little did her co-worker knew that she used an idiomatic expression for a short nap. Instead of replying, I took a short nap, Sam used an idiomatic expression stifling the true meaning of her message. In written texts, avoid using idiomatic expressions as well as jargons 
for the message to be clearly conveyed. Further, take into account the formality of the conversation to avoid misunderstandings. Well, I guess this wraps up the whole video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Till next time, bye!